In this video, I'm gonna show you how to 5X your system's performance, even up to 60 times your system performance. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. So right now, your system may be running a slow and clunky mechanical hard drive, getting up to 160 megs per second. And this alone is going to kill your system's performance. Now, we can always update to a SATA SSD, which is going to give us up to 560 megs per second, which is awesome. Or maybe even update to an M.2 SSD that can give us up to 10,000 megs per second. Amazingly awesome, but you need the proof, right? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you that. So starting off with Boot Racer. Boot Racer is awesome because it allows you to test your booting speeds, not just bink, and you're in Windows, meaning turning on your machine, how long it takes for the BIOS to realize what drive you're going to boot off of. Then, after that, for it to go from BIOS into Windows. Then after that, from Windows into totally stable that nothing else is loaded, everything will work perfectly fine. So here we can see first on the Hitachi drive, the Hitachi took 155.8 seconds to boot into a 100% clean and stable, usable version of Windows. Then after that, the Western Digital Blue Drive took 44.25 seconds. That alone is a tremendous difference from 155 seconds. That's amazing. Now again, this is to come completely into Windows that you can use it perfectly fine. And then on the Kingston Renegade M.2 drive, 16.11 seconds. On its own is incredibly fast, especially comparing it to the Hitachi drive. But comparing it to the Western Digital Blue 500 gig, it was only about 28 seconds in between the two. Still in favor of the M.2, that's pretty impressive. But if your system doesn't have an M.2, so far, this is still a good option. But anyway, let's move on to Crystal Dismark. Crystal Disk Mark, a little bit more advanced, will tell you basically reads and writes on your system, how quickly your system reads a task and how quickly it writes a task or writes a file from a folder to a folder and everything within that drive. A good example of data transfer is, for example, a bottle of water. This is data, it's full of data. The only way you can get that data out is through that little teeny tiny hole. So I gotta fill the bucket with data. I'm transferring data from this bottle to this bottle, two separate containers, right? That example was a hard drive. This is an SSD, a bigger area to pour water from, just not as much data, but that kind of part is kind of irrelevant. So I can just fill the bucket a little bit quicker than that mechanical hard drive with an endless supply of cups. So that was an SSD. Now these are M.2 SSDs a lot taller, bigger mouse to transfer data with, so you can transfer a lot more data a lot quicker, and this will read it a lot quicker too. Endless supply as well. So starting off with the incredibly slow Hitachi drive, we can see 122 megs per second on read and 88 megs per second on write. Now on its own, it sounds like a bunch of random numbers. But then stepping off to the Western Digital Blue Drive, it got 563 megs per second on read and 528 megs per second on write. Again, a tremendous difference. This is reading and writing files to and from this drive and to and from this drive. We can see the tremendous difference on that. Now, on the M.2 drive, from our friends at Kingston, we can see this got 7,363 megs per second on read and 6,075 megs per second on write. So seven gigs on read, six gigs on write. That's incredibly fast between these two. Now that's a big differentiator between these two, but it's not tremendous when you're using it more along the lines of numbers, but there still is a noticeable difference between these two. Now between these two is night and day, just like between these two and this is night and day. This is much, much slower. Hopefully I'm getting this across and we'll help you update. All this information is going to help you basically on tasks, opening up Word and Excel and PowerPoint and different office tasks. That's great. It's going to give you all that information, but what about gaming? Well, I got that covered too. 
In Red Dead Redemption 2 with high definition textures, we can see the Hitachi took one minute and 55 seconds to load a level. That's going with everything loaded in the game as it is, then loading every single high definition texture from the drive itself into a playable part in the game. One minute and 55 seconds. That's a long time to wait to see loading, loading, loading. We've all done it before. We don't have to do it anymore. Now, on the Western Digital Blue Drive, it only took 51.76 seconds. Now, on its own, that might sound like a lot, but comparing to one minute and 55 seconds, this is just blink your eye and you're done. That loading time is impressive. On the M.2 drive, which we have seen already is much faster, it actually took 51.30 seconds to load that same information. Still much faster than this, but only slightly faster than this. So this is fast for everything, maybe not as fast for gaming, but still we can see there was only about a four second difference between these two. So this will still be faster, just a little bit faster. Now, of course, like with all programs and with all games, results will vary. This might be a ton faster in some things than this, but all of these will not be slower than this. This will 100% of the time be much slower than these two. Now, the way I know that all of the information and all of the testing and all of my software was correct, I installed Windows and all of the programs, applications, updates, and everything on this drive. Then I took this cloner and I cloned the Hitachi to the Western Digital 500 gig blue drive. And then I cloned from the Hitachi to the Kingston Renegade drive. So all of the data, all of the everything is 100% identical. And my testing, of course, with that as well. So down below in the description, I have links for how to install Windows 10 or Windows 11 on an M.2 or an SSD. I really want to get you off of this. Then I also have videos on how to add this or even these as secondary storage because I wanna get you off of this. I don't necessarily want you to throw it away. It's perfect for data. Regardless of that, I don't use these anymore. All I use is these. Then after that, in case you don't want to reinstall everything so that you lose your programs and all your passwords and everything, I show you how to clone these to these like I did in this video. Anyway, I hope I've helped you in this video finally make the decision to switch over from mechanical to SSD. In this video up above, I show you how to do all of that cloning like I do in that video down below, but I give you very important information that you need in your BIOS and in Windows because if you don't do it correctly, you might end up blue screen and your clone may not work correctly. This is Iggy with This Bites For You Up. See you guys.